Israel's enemies have a new reason to fear the skies. The Middle East's most powerful military is about to deploy a sci-fi superweapon, a laser defense system called Iron Beam that can blast rockets and missiles out of the air at the speed of light. Coming in 2024, Iron Beam's laser cannons will create an impenetrable protective shield over Israel. This revolutionary system can shoot down endless waves of incoming fire for just dollars per blast. The 21st century battlefield is here, but what will it mean when future wars are fought with light? In this video, we will reveal the classified birth of a system that could one day transform our world. In this video, we will reveal everything we know about this classified technological marvel. But before we continue, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on any amazing and entertaining content. The Evolution of Israel's Missile Defenses Israel is a nation that has faced existential threats since its founding. Surrounded by adversaries, protecting its citizens from rocket and missile attacks has been a matter of survival. In 1991, during the Gulf War, Scud missiles rained down on Tel Aviv and Haifa from Iraq. The trauma led Israel to vow, never again. Beginning in the early 2000s, Israel faced an onslaught of Qassam rockets from Gaza, fired by Hamas. Hezbollah's missiles also began pounding northern Israel. Facing 100 or more rocket attacks annually, Israel needed a solution. This intense pressure gave birth to the Iron Dome in an astonishingly short period of time. Traditional anti-missile systems take years or decades to develop, but Israel achieved a working Iron Dome prototype in just three years. Iron Dome uses radar-guided interceptor missiles to shoot down incoming rockets in mere seconds. Since 2011, Iron Dome batteries have scanned Israel's skies for threats. Their Tamir interceptors have shot down over 2,500 rockets, protecting countless lives. But Israel long realized Iron Dome alone wouldn't be enough. Tamir interceptors cost up to $100,000 apiece, straining Israel's defenses during heavy fighting. And barrages exceeding Iron Dome's capacity can still slip through. Israel needed to explore revolutionary new solutions. For decades, Israel's engineers had dreamed of laser defenses. Advances in solid-state lasers finally made this dream attainable. Out of necessity, the vision for Iron Beam was born. How the Iron Beam system works. Israel's Iron Beam utilizes laser technology that seems straight out of science fiction to counter rocket, mortar, and drone threats. How do these high-tech lasers actually work? Iron Beam fires a powerful beam from its fiber laser system that delivers lethal levels of energy onto targets. Inside the laser generator, diodes emit light that gets amplified and combined into a single collimated beam of immense power and intensity. The entire system is mounted on mobile platforms for easy repositioning to protect valuable assets. Iron Beam can link with external radar queuing and surveillance systems to rapidly detect and verify threats. Sophisticated software enables the system to calculate and approach intercept trajectory. The laser emitter then fires the directed energy beam toward the target. This heats the target's surface, damaging or destroying critical components and destabilizing the structure. The skin deforms, cracks appear, pieces begin to melt and separate, and the target breaks apart. Whether hitting a rocket, mortar, or drone, Iron Beam's laser inflicts catastrophic damage, either causing the target to fragment in mid-air or lose control. An Iron Beam can rapidly retarget and re-engage, taking out multiple threats in swift succession. Lasers have key physical advantages over traditional kinetic interceptors. Because photons move at the speed of light, they reach targets nearly instantaneously, while missile interceptors require time to climb and maneuver. Lasers also have effectively unlimited magazines, constrained only by power supply. And they are extremely precise, minimizing risks to civilians. With Iron Beam, Israel can now defend its citizens against rocket barrages and drone swarms in new ways that interceptor missiles simply can't match. Developing and Testing Iron Beam Creating cutting-edge laser defenses required Herculean efforts spanning over two decades. Raphael Advanced Defense Systems has been researching directed energy technology since the 1990s. Israel's first efforts to build powerful chemical lasers faced technical hurdles. But around 2010, electric solid-state lasers finally showed promise. Their efficiency had improved exponentially, bringing tactical applications within reach. 
Israel's Ministry of Defense funded development and partnered with industry to mature the technology. Engineers still faced daunting obstacles. The laser generation system needed major advances to achieve power, efficiency, and beam quality goals. Engineers had to pioneer specialized optics, fine-tune control systems, model beam propagation, and perfectly integrate complex subsystems. Developing rugged field-ready units presented further challenges, but Israel's best and brightest were fully invested. In 2014, Raphael unveiled the Iron Beam, sparking tremendous excitement. This kicked off a five-year testing marathon. In live fire trials, Iron Beam intercepted simulated rockets, mortars, and drones. The system's precision laser targeting and tracking abilities proved highly effective across diverse scenarios. Operators then tested capabilities like rapid retargeting between multiple threats. Further refinements enhanced power output, beam control, and thermal management, pushing the limits of what was thought possible. In 2021, with prototypes excelling in trials, the Israeli military awarded Rafael a contract to produce iron beam batteries for the field. After another intense year of live testing, officials confirmed in early 2022 that Iron Beam was combat ready. The system is slated to be deployed within a year to defend Israel's citizens and turn the tables on adversaries. Iron Beam in the field Israel's new Iron Beam directed energy defenses are set to deploy alongside Iron Dome batteries and other missile interceptors as a short range laser shield. Within the next year, mobile iron beam trucks will begin protecting Israeli towns and strategic assets. The versatile trucks can take up positions near Gaza, Lebanon, or other hotspots. Their laser cannons will create an aerial no-go zone against rockets, mortars, and drones. Operators can cue iron beam sensors from Israel's integrated air defense network. When threats approach, iron beam will autonomously swivel, acquire, track the target, and obliterate it with a precision laser burst. What's revolutionary about these laser defenses? A key advantage iron beam offers is no limit on its magazine capacity. Missile interceptors like Iron Dome's Tamir run out quickly during heavy combat. But as long as power flows to its laser generator, iron beam can continue engaging threats indefinitely. Instead of expensive interceptor stocks that must be continually replenished, the primary cost for Iron Beam will be fuel to power its integrated generator. This unique characteristic will allow Iron Beam trucks to counter far larger volleys of cheap rockets and mortars than missile batteries can handle. Israel's layered air defenses can also efficiently allocate weapons based on range band. Longer range ballistic missiles can be assigned to Iron Dome, David Sling, or arrow interceptors. While Iron Beam provides nearly impenetrable coverage against shorter range artillery, rockets, drones, and loitering munitions. If fielded successfully, Iron Beam would also affect adversary strategies and tactics. Militant groups may rethink mass bombardments if cheap rockets and mortars can be so easily shot down. The operational dynamics between Israel and foes like Hamas could shift decidedly. In the missile age, Iron Beam proves technologies once considered exotic can transform battlefield power balances, the future of laser defense. Looking ahead, Iron Beam may be just the beginning of Israel's laser defense capabilities. Engineers are already working to extend its power range and functionality. With additional research, they hope to boost power levels past 100 kilowatts, increase effective range to dozens of kilometers, improve beam control, and network multiple laser units together into potent defenses. As power scales up, lasers could counter rockets, artillery, mortars, drones, and even missiles with precision speed of light engagement. An iron beam is designed for flexible applications. Israel plans versions for ground vehicles, ships, and aircraft to provide 360-degree laser protection over areas or forces. For example, the naval iron beam can be installed on ships or deployed in containers when needed to defeat drone swarms and anti-ship missiles. And Israel won't keep this technology to itself. The U.S. and Israeli governments are jointly producing a 300-kilowatt-class laser system with plans to field test prototypes in two years. Australia, Germany, France, and the UK are all developing their own laser weapon programs they see as critical for 21st century defense. Within a decade, laser defenses could spread globally. And in the more distant future, even more powerful megawatt-class lasers may fundamentally change warfare. With beams capable of rapidly destroying tanks, 
cruise missiles, or even low-flying aircraft. The era of practical energy weapons has arrived. In October 2022, Ukraine even requested Israel's Iron Beam and other advanced air defense systems to defend against Russian missile strikes. While it's unclear if this technology will be provided, it shows the demand for laser defenses. As adversaries acquire ever more sophisticated missiles, Iron Beam proves that technology can tip strategic balances. In our journey exploring Iron Beam, we've peeled back the layers of this secretive system to see the remarkable innovation within. We've seen how Israel was pressed by necessity to pioneer missile defenses, developing Iron Dome to intercept short-range rockets. But cheaper threats emerged. This drove Israel's engineers to harness long-dreamed-of-laser technology as the next generation of aerial defense.